Senator Nelson, I was shot twice. I was grazed on my back and ricocheted on my chest. My best friend was killed right in front of me. And the experience that I had can never be taken away from me, no matter how much I want it to be. What are you gonna do to strengthen background checks to prevent another tragedy like this from occurring again? We have in Florida what is known as the gun show loophole. There was actually a constitutional amendment passed in 1998 to our state constitution. And it was to be left up to the counties. And most of the counties have not enforced the gun show loophole. And as a result, you can go to a gun show if it's not a licensed federal dealer that is selling a gun. There is no requirement of a criminal background check. That's one thing can be done, not only in Florida, but that can be done in Washington as well. You asked specifically about uh, the criminal background check. That would certainly help. Uh, it would have, if there had been an intrusive one, it would have gotten to Omar Mateen, the murderer uh, in the Pulse nightclub, 49 lives. I want to say that my colleague, Senator Rubio, and I have a good relationship. We get a lot of stuff done together. And I want you to know that I told him before we came out here tonight that he had guts coming here <laughs> when in fact there is no representative of the state of Florida. Our governor did not come here, Governor Scott. <laughs> but Marco did. I would expand, I would expand further and, and just tell you, there are so many other things that we can do. Certainly mental health, certainly the question as the sheriff had brought up about putting armed deputies, uh, but when you get right down to it, the gun is what is going to do the killing. And I'll just finally say this. I'm a native Floridian. I grew up on a ranch. I've always had guns. I've hunted all my life. I still hunt with my son. But an AK-47 and an AR-15 is not for hunting. It's for killing. <laughs> <laughs>